Special Olympics, it's an uh, international organization um, that was uh, um, uh, created by the Kennedy family. And what distinguished from the Paralympics, it's the Paralympics are uh, physical handicapped, um, while the Special Olympics uh, are uh, mentally challenged athletes. We had uh, experience and we have been running a golf charity tournament already for six years. So uh, we thought that it would be good also to Macau to be the headquarter of a, a more global uh, event for the Special Olympics in Asia Pacific and some other countries uh, elsewhere for uh, golf players. Well, we basically doubled from, uh, from last year. Uh, last year we had five, six countries, uh, eight teams basically. This year we had 14 teams from 12 countries and, and special regions. What we need here is uh, basically to come up with a great event that uh, will not be um, ex uh, expensive at all uh, to, the, to the teams that will participate. We have already a golf course that is one of the sponsors. Uh, CSUS as a corporate get very involved with the social responsibility, the green program, the hero program. They have a charity fun, uh, foundation. So we're just a carry out corporate culture to this part of the world. Um, and then Special Olympic definitely is a very good story to start it with. Most of this event is created and funded not by um, cash, and there's a, a certain degree of cash, but most of it is services. So we have a, a, a fantastic five-star hotel that provides 200 rooms. Uh, we have a golf course that it's uh, top of the crop anywhere in the world that provides the facilities um, for free. We have uh, Air Macau that uh, allows a certain uh, a number of tickets and uh, great rates. Uh, we have uh, Nike that brings sets of clubs that will allow us to have the, the, the athletes playing with the sets and take those sets back home. Um, so, as you can see, it's, it's basically services. Sheraton is a 75-year-old brand uh, uh, and, you know, in our brand philosophy and vision, uh, the work with the community is very important. So, we always want to work together with the local community uh, and also contribute uh, to the improvement of the community, contribute to the, you know, for example, uh, giving opportunities to the people living in the community and also do social uh, work as well. So it fits very well together with the Special Olympics. We are used to deal uh, with different nationalities, ethnies, uh, uh, religions, uh, 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 beliefs. Uh, uh, this event represents the world in a living room. It's, it's rewarding that uh, different countries, uh, different cultures, uh, different uh, 
people with different beliefs accepted the challenge and came to Macau and they deal so well went to each other. My friends, welcome to Macau. How are we? Are we fine? Macau, a special administration region, and being part of China. Uh, when we went to, to Korea and talked about it, this event, obviously the response from China was, hey, we don't have a team so far, but we can found one. And uh, they just simply were searching efforts that were willing to play golf. It all happened in, I think, in two and a half months. And then they came to Macau. Obviously, they also have never seen a golf course, but we also have seen a Malaysian team. They didn't have golf. We had an Indian team, a team from Brunei. Ranveer is a special child, special needs child with autism, and plays golf. And this is a platform which Macau has given us to help him learn the game and progress further. He played an excellent round today and day before and a nice individual skills yesterday. He's learning well and if he gets platforms like these which Macau has created, I am telling you, not only Ranveer, any special needs golfer of this world would go on to the next level. But the, the tournament director told me yesterday that he and his teammate probably should not be playing level one and two next year. He said they won't be allowed. They should go and compete with the big boys, he said, for level five. And that's a great achievement. He invited the three-time Special Olympics champion to come to Macau. He is track champion. He already plays now amateur tournament in or in Africa. His dream is to play against Tiger Woods. My most in Macau was I see, went to the high tower, see a bike, saw a bungee jump off a tower was nice, and uh, seeing shows dancing on water was nice. They are nice. And seeing the motorcycles and we had a nice picture taken with the whole with the whole guys. That was my that was my best part in Macau. If there if there's another Special Olympics uh, golf day here, I'll come I'll come definitely come come here again. A guardian is a regular golf player that is invited to play with a Special Olympic athlete. Um, so the two of them uh, join hands and go to the, 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 the golf course. And most of the Guardians, all of the Guardians are from Macau or living in Macau. Uh, I know both known Paulo and uh, Stefan for quite a few years. and They mentioned it, that they were trying to organize it last year. Uh, looking for volunteers, so uh, my wife and I put our hands up because we, we have uh, a couple of children in our extended family with challenges, so we know how valuable it is uh, for people to, to put the time in and, and spend quality time with, with the kids, and, and, the, and the rewards are all on our side. So. Mandy, oh, Mandy Chung, she was amazing. She, uh, pound for pound, off the tee, Amazing. She hit the ball as far as anybody I've seen. I was really impressed and quite humbled. <laughs> this is a, a game that everyone dreams of to play with. Yeah. Importantly, let me win. If I cannot win, let me have an attempt. And that's especially with oath, and that, and that is a promise. And that promise is that we will keep on playing. Life is competitive enough, so we don't need another competition. We don't need another golf competition. We don't need another sport competition. We just want to do, maybe going back to, to that idea of your needs, getting people together, having fun, and interacting with each other. Why are they doing it in sport? This tournament is different because this tournament has the true spirit of sportsmanship. In other tournaments, people are fighting against each other and watching another person and wincing at their shots and one point more and less. Over here, we have 
14 teams, 40, 50 people standing and cheering for the other team player. It is so nice. And this is the true spirit of sportsmanship, which Macau has, is teaching the world today. And the world has to take this lesson. The event is very, very good, good event for the Austria team. And I am so happy. I watched them on the range as well, so I had a good look. And it was very interesting to see you know, the talent that was there and obviously the, you know, these guys can play and then physically they're all pretty much there so they can make good golf swings and probably unlike most of the, the normal golfers that you see out here at the moment, they don't seem to be bothered by it. They hit a bad shot, they just get on with it, which is a great attitude to have. So from that point of view, that's why they probably can play the stand when they do. They're providing almost everything. I mean, I saw bags and balls and tees and caps and the uniforms and belts and not just one set, but one, two, three sets and just wind sheeters and umbrellas, what not? Which is again, not done in normal tournaments. I can just see the commitment of people here. I was telling Paula just today morning that the true CSR activity, it is a true uh, corporate social responsibility shown by a business person like him. I own an industry in India. And I am telling you that this is true. This is the real CSR which has been done by him and his team. This is what we like. I can come back to more, more, more.